Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. Alright, today's video is the podium vehicle review video. We're talking about the Entity XF, alright? This vehicle has been on the podium the past two weeks because this has been a two-week bonus event, alright? So, before we get started though, you guys, if you don't know, I have I was on vacation for a while and I got sick. I'm almost at 100 percent I will be streaming soon, I promise. And we're definitely getting back on schedule with things over here on my channel, all right? So just be patient. I'll be coming back with you guys. We'll be hanging out. We'll be chilling, having some fun. And we'll be knocking this out, all right? Before we go any further, though, you guys know what to do. Subscribe. Turn on notifications. Ring that bell. You know it's going to be a b -b 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 banger, baby. B -b 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 banger. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyways, though, yes. Okay, so the Entity XF is the podium vehicle, all right? This is like a 2013 vehicle right here. So I don't know how many people... You know what? Honestly, I, I think a lot of you guys probably don't even know about this car. All right? There's a handful of you that are the OGs, and you know all about the Entity XF. All right? Coming in at 795000 It is a supercar. But this car is so old. It's... <laughs> It's so like old school that I think a lot of you don't even know what it is. You haven't even seen it before, um, because you know you're all used to cars like the Krieger, you know, and uh, the Entity XXR or whatever that one, the Italies and stuff like that. So this guy is a blast from the past. Now, if you're an OG, triple OG like myself, you've been playing GTA since the 360 and the PS3 days. R.I.P. Um, when you say GTA 5 Online, or when you say what car do you think of in GTA 5 Online, there's just a handful of cars that come to mind. And the Entity XF is definitely one of them. The Zentorno, the Armored Karuma, you know, we're not talking about any, like, futuristic, we're talking about the old school vehicles. You know, when you're like, hey, what, what car do you guys think of when GTA first came out? You know, these are the vehicles that, you, you know, the Turismo, these are the kind of cars that you guys think about you know the OGs the entity is definitely up there I mean it's just a it's just a classic this car is so old it has like a total of 10 customizable options I mean we just went through all the customizable features there's nothing there now the entity XF may seem like it's a rear wheel drive vehicle it's actually all wheel drive uh, and for a while this was the top race car for the Superclass in GTA 5 Online. The Entity, the Turismo, the Zentorno, those are the old school top dogs right there. I mean, the Zentorno actually came out like a year and a half after, you know, the game in like 2015. Uh, so that was actually a newer top, you know, supercar. But then the Osiris and the T20 came out after that. And you started to see the Entity kind of fade away from the scene. And that was a long, long time ago, right? Now, the Entity can still hold its own with that category of vehicles, the Turismo, the Zentorno, um, especially with the top speed. You know, the top speed is, is decent for, uh, you know, a supercar. You know, the, the, the Banshee and the 811 kind of hold that right now for the supercar class. They're still on top for top speed. Um, but around a track, the Entity really, really excelled. The XF was very, very good around the track. The corners, it handled very well. And it was hard to beat this car uh, unless you had one of those top tier vehicles like a Zentorno or a Osiris or a T20. But it's just, you know, this is just a blast from the past. There is no reason to own the Entity XF other than nostalgia and it being a collector's vehicle. That's really the main reason. And, you know, absolutely try and win this vehicle from the wheel. Do you have to buy it? I mean, it's not going to break the bank. It's under a million, even with all the customization, which is like five things. I mean, you'll be right there at a million bucks, uh, even under. It's not that big a, you know, of a deal to, to break the bank. So have some fun with it. But it's just not there anymore you know, for its competitiveness, unless you're sticking with those old school type kind of cars, the Turismo, the, the Zentorno. Uh, you know, and that kind of category can still compete, but with your other vehicles, this is not there anymore. So it's just really cool to see that car on the podium. Definitely, definitely a blast of the past. Really, really cool to see that. Um, it's, it's like bittersweet. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you guys got any questions or comments down below. Let me know. Did you guys ever own an entity or if you're watching this video, is this the first time you've even seen this vehicle or heard about it? Let me know. I, I kind of want to get a, a gauge or an idea of where you guys are at. 
you know, do I have a whole bunch of OGs in here with me or do I have a whole bunch of new guys and you guys have no idea what the Entity XF means or what, what it is to the game. So let me know in the comments down below, all right? You guys have a good one. Subscribe to the channel for the Ills and Rose content of the game. Smash, I mean, smash that like button. See you guys in the next one, all right? Peace out. Yeah.